post game here with head coach Jim Penders. The Huskies an 8-7 winner over number one Michigan. Coach, regardless of opponent, one of your better comebacks in the last uh, in recent memory. Uh, take me through what you you're thinking after that first inning down five nothing. Yeah, no, our guys just kept fighting, you know. And uh, Coach Oregon, you know, we were going to be patient with their starter. You know, he has a tendency to to uh, not throw a ton of strikes in a row, and he got you know gets off to the uh, with Bushling strike two in a, in a heartbeat but the guys trusted it and we kind of wore him down a little bit I thought it threw a couple pitches up and then got in some trouble and then when he did uh, not execute his pitch we hit a couple uh, I think they had to take him out a little bit earlier than they wanted to and the guys just kept scuffling that's a really big arm right there that they they kind of wore down it wasn't going to be done with just one blow the other thing that I thought from our offense that was really awesome was that you know with this wind just gusting out uh, it didn't seem like it with, with I think Kyler took maybe one hell hack you know, where the helmet fell off on a 3-1 count, I think. But other than that, I thought everybody did really stayed within. You know, and Kyler stayed within when he had to as well. So uh, a lot of good at-bats using the big part of the field. Um, you know, just a really good scuffle. I mean, Joe Sim didn't have it today. Just wasn't his day. I thought Will Lucas, did, I, every pitcher after after Joe did a really good job picking him up today. So uh, that was a nice Husky Husky win. Nice, gritty, uh, tough Husky win today. First game, first team game ball of the year in the second uh, for the second win. That's that's pretty good. That sets a good tone. How about your young arms, Will Lucas, Pat Gallagher, Andrew Marrero, but especially Lucas and Gallagher, both them steadying the ships. So the offense could come back. Strikes, you know, they threw strikes. I thought Will, uh, you know, Will was a little on his heels after Nagu got him, you know, uh, and then uh, then he looked like himself. He, you know, there's there's two good examples. Coach Max said it in the huddle. There's two guys who didn't pitch for us last year, did a really nice job today, and um, they have to build off of that now. They shouldn't uh, have any doubt when they go in there. But I thought Pat Gallagher, I mean. Got some nice swings and misses on fastballs. You need a little ride to that fastball that um, gets on you a little bit. Um, and and he, he showed a good mix too. He threw a couple different pitches for strikes today. And um, you know, I thought all the pitch, like I said, I thought all the pitchers did a really nice job. Caleb closing it out, Kenny giving us what he had to give us. And Andrew, you have to piece it together when your starter doesn't get out of the first. You got to really piece it together. Coach Mack did an awesome job of calling the game too. That last batter was something special what he did uh, on that last guy. I mean, Caleb did it, but uh, he he had it mapped out in his head and it, and it worked. The computer worked. In basketball, for shooters, they can get out of a slump with a free throw or layup. Seemed like for Chris Winkle, that walk, and I think the sixth inning kind of got him going, got a base hit the next time, and then the, the big hit in the ninth inning, the double. Yeah, yeah, he's a good player, and, and he was just in his own head a little bit. And, you know, to get that two-strike double, that, that should go a long way. He's got to file that one away and feel, exa you know, just picture that one, visualize that one mo moving forward because he did a lot of right on that swing. Um, he's been working so – nobody works harder than he does at his swing and, and his approach, and he had a good – week of practice this week but I was glad to see him kind of get off the schneid today and he beat the shift on his first hit so that was nice and, um, you could just it's so much fun wheeling him around third base you know I hope he never wipes out because he'd take me with him he's, he's, he's a specimen over there but he um, he was flying around third base and uh, it's nice having him on base and just even if it's a walk a hit batsman uh, base hit you know, reach on an error he, he runs the bases so well um, it's a lot of fun when he's out there but I thought everybody in our in our offense contributed uh, today and uh, it was going to take that to come back against that uh, really good ball club over there. Thanks coach. Thanks Chris.